Hi. Welcome to the World Cup quarter finals of the Women's World Cup. Please subscribe, like and share. Especially if you're not going to subscribe or like, at least share. But preferably all three. Friday morning, I'm not going to watch it because it's a crazy time. Spain against Netherlands. Spain to me have to be one of the favourites left in it. I mean obviously whoever gets the last day are in their own way have a shout. But since Spain and Netherlands are a very good team, don't get, don't, don't get me wrong, a fantastic team. But Spain at the moment it like it's gonna take someone a bit more than probably what England had at the Euros to stop them right now. I had to be honest, just a bit more. I think Spain will have beat the Netherlands 3-1. Probably a closer game than my prediction suggests. But if Netherlands aren't 100%, it obviously could be a higher score. So, I think Spain will win 3-1. And it'd be a good game. I mean, okay, a two-goal victory. Um... Two got margin doesn't mean it's not a good game. It could just be a counter attack and sucker punch or something. Anyway, on to the next game Japan against Sweden. Look, Japan, you can never wipe Japan off. They've always been very good at women's football. And yeah, you can't wipe them off. Um, Sweden have, are very good to themselves. Um, yeah. I just think Japan's got too much of them. I think Japan, the confidence in that camp must be phenomenal. Like they must think they, if they can win this, their, their chances of winning the World Cup are significantly more. And of course, that's natural to think when you get to semi final. But there's something about Japan, the way they play at this World Cup, but also at the World Cup they won and so on, is it eight years ago or something? Or 12 years ago, but still. Yeah. Saturday starts with Australia against France. Well, I'd never like to see it when the, when the host goes out of a World Cup. Um, I'd love to see Australia win this because of hosts and because France always do well at football. Australia are a country who are quite new to the block in the sense of getting far in tournaments. And Sam Kerr, if she gets 90 minutes, this prediction could easily be wrong if she shows what kind of player she can be, um, her capabilities. This could, prediction could be well wrong. Um, but my prediction, I have to be honest, Australia is Australia 1, France 2. On to the final, um, quarter final on Saturday at 11 o'clock. It's the Lionesses against Colombia. England against Colombia for place in the World Cup semi-finals. Um, I think it's going to be a very tough game. I think England have to be better. Well, I know England have to be better. England got away. With, um, just got away against Nigeria. To be honest, England didn't des did not deserve that. Um, none of those players deserved to be celebrated at the end. Um, I have to be brutally honest. They need to be putting way better performances than that. You can't just go say, oh, we've got so many players out injured. And that's just a nonsense excuse. You know, these players are good enough to, to do better than that. So, yeah, I have to be honest, brutally honest. Um, but I think England will win. I think England will lift the, the performance. Um, I wouldn't say enough to encourage me that to believe that England could win the World Cup quite yet, but... They have to now. They had to have to win these games and be convincing. I mean, they haven't been convincing. So my prediction, however, is in normal time, England two, Colombia one. Mary Earps will have a fantastic game. She has to be, have a fantastic game, to be honest. And England will get to the semi-finals. Um, bring on who they get in the semis. Is football coming home with the Lionesses? Is it going to be two trophies in two years for Lionesses and the men's like one trophy in 50 years?
we'll see. Right, thanks, I'm out, bye.